Play in the eighth inning, leading by three as Boone hits it to deep left. That might send the Yankees to the World Series. Boone, a hero in game seven. Whoa, whoa. See that guy right there? Looks like he's hit rock bottom. Well, that guy's actually me. Now, I bet you're wondering how I got in this wacky situation. It all started in the summer of 86. I want to talk about Aaron Boone for a little bit. My face is going to look super washed out in this video and I really apologize. There's a long time argument in sports where people talk about how much of a difference a coach or a manager actually makes. And I think this year in 2018, we're going to see that in the New York Yankees. 2017 was a really surprising year for the New York Yankees. After 85 wins in 2013, 84 wins in 2014, 85 wins in 2015, and 84 wins again in 2016, the Yankees won 91 games in 2017 under the leadership of manager Joe Girardi. Now this was surprising because the Yankees weren't really supposed to do much. They didn't make the playoffs in 2013, 2014, or 2016, but they surprised a lot of people by clinching a spot in 2017, making it to the American League Championship Series where they eventually lost to the team that would go on to win the World Series, the Houston Astros. While the Yankees acquiring Giancarlo Stanton might look like the biggest move they made this offseason, personally, I think the biggest change comes with Aaron Boone. Joe Girardi was the manager of the Yankees for 10 years. That's a big deal. Managing the Yankees is one of the highest profile jobs in all of sports, not just baseball. After choosing to let Girardi walk, the Yankees did a quick interview process with only a handful of people and eventually landed on Aaron Boone, uh, who had previously only had broadcasting experience and no prior coaching experience of any kind. It's a big shift going from the broadcast booth to managing one of the most historic teams in baseball history. We've seen things like this happen before when the Detroit Tigers gave the managerial position to Brad Ausmus. One of the things that he struggled with the most in his first couple of years was handling a pitching staff. I think we're gonna see that a lot with Aaron Boone in 2018 and moving forward with the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees have possibly one of the most dominant lineups in recent history and a Twitter poll could decide their batting order and they're still gonna win ball games. Their offensive production should go without saying, absolutely no question about it, they will be one of the most dangerous offenses in recent history, if not in baseball history. None of that matters if you don't know how to handle a pitching staff. And I think that's where Aaron Boone is gonna be tested the most in 2018. If you look at the Yankees over the past couple years, they haven't really been known for their pitching. This year, their rotation is gonna be Luis Severino, Masahiro Tanaka, Sonny Gray, CeCe Sabathia, and Jordan Montgomery. Not exactly top of the line names or household names, you got guys like Gray, who is more of a finesse pitcher. You got Sabathia, who is older. Tanaka can get a lot of strikeouts. But then you got Severino, who still has a lot to prove. And Montgomery, who seems like he's just in there to round out the rotation. Granted, Severino did go 14-6 and six with a 2-9 ERA and 230 strikeouts in 2016. But that was his first real shot at a major league rotation. He still has a lot to show in terms of what he can do in the future. Boone also inherits one of the best bullpens in the American League with a 7-8-9 punch of David Robertson, Dellen Batances, and Araldis Chapman with a supporting cast and crew that isn't too shabby either. Not that Boston matches New York one for one necessarily, but the moves that the Red Sox made in the offseason are at least keeping up the pace with what New York did. The Red Sox are gonna be right there breathing down their neck for the entire 2018 season. And who's gonna be feeling it the most? Manager Aaron Boone. Obviously time will tell how Aaron Boone will handle the pitching staff. It's only spring training right now. Clearly we don't know what's gonna happen in the regular season. But if the Yankees are to go on and win the World Series this year, Aaron Boone will single-handedly decide whether they make it there or whether they fail.